Hi bakers, welcome back to my channel, you're with Nicole and today I really wanted to talk to you about the difference between bicarb soda, baking soda and baking powder. There's so much confusion out there about them so I wanted to clear that up and hopefully help you with your baking so that you know the difference. So there'll be three things that you're going to take away today. The first is the difference between baking soda and baking powder. The next is how you can substitute one for another and then lastly how you can make your own baking powder. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the difference between bicarb soda, bicarbonate soda, baking soda. So they're all actually the same thing, it's just that different parts of the world use different terminology. So typically speaking, America uses baking soda, whereas Australia, New Zealand, uh, UK, they use the terminology bicarb or bicarbonate soda. So bicarb soda, baking soda, Bicarbonate soda, same, same. See? Now that that's all cleared up, I wanna to talk to you about the difference between baking powder and baking soda. All right, so baking soda or bicarb soda is a pure leavening agent. And leavening agent is just something that helps to soften, uh, rise and lighten the texture of a batter or a food. For the leavening agent in the bicarb soda to activate, it needs to be mixed with an acidic ingredient and moisture. So that's how you activate baking soda. Acidic ingredients can be things like honey or chocolate or lemon juice. Baking powder, on the other hand, is also a leavening agent. However, it has the addition of a dry acidic ingredient in the mixture already, so it only needs moisture to activate the leavening agent. So just to recap, they're both leavening agents. However, baking powder has the addition of a dry acidic ingredient. If you've got a recipe and you've only got either baking soda or baking powder in your kitchen, you can substitute one for the other, but there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. First up, let's talk about substitution of bicarb soda. Bicarb soda is three times more powerful than our baking powder. So if you're going to substitute for baking soda, I'd recommend using three times the amount of baking powder in lieu of your baking soda. Now let's do the reverse. So if you're substituting baking powder for soda, if your recipe asks for one teaspoon of baking powder and you don't have any, all you need to do is add one quarter of a teaspoon of bicarb soda and half a teaspoon of an acidic ingredient such as lemon juice or vinegar. Alternately, you can also make your own baking powder and it's just one part baking soda, two parts cream of tartar. I will also do a video for you just to show you how to test if your bicarb soda and baking powder is still effective, so make sure you check that one out. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope that this video will really help you with your baking and your understanding of the differences between baking powder, baking soda, and how they work. That's enough science for the day. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Bond Baker, for all tips, tricks, and delicious recipes for the home baker.